Jean-Baptiste Bayot, French, BJO, the 21st of April 1774 to the 3rd of February 1862, was a French physicist, astronomer, and mathematician who established the reality of meteorites, made an early balloon flight, and studied the polarization of light. The mineral biotite was named in his honor. Topic Biography Jean Baptiste Bio was born in Paris on the twenty first of April, seventeen seventy four, the son of Joseph Bio, a Treasury official. He was educated at Lyceum Louis Le Grand and École Polytechnique in seventeen ninety four. Bio served in the artillery before he was appointed Professor of Mathematics at Beauvais in 1797. He later went on to become a Professor of Physics at the Collège de France around 1800, and three years later was elected as a member of the French Academy of Sciences. In July 1804, Bio was on board for the first scientific hot air balloon ride with Joseph Louis Gay Lussac to measure how the Earth's magnetic field varied with elevation. NNDB 2009, Reese 2004, O'Connor and Robertson 1997. They reached a height of 4,000 meters (13,100 feet). NNDB 2009, Reese 2004. Later, in September 1804, Gay Lussac did a solo flight that took him up to 7,010 meters (23,000 feet), quite dangerous without supplementary oxygen. Reese 2004. Bio was also a member of the Legion of Honor, he was elected Chevalier in 1814 and Commander in 1849. In 1815, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society of London, in 1816 a member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, and 1822 a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. In addition, Bio received the Rumford Medal in 1840, awarded by the Royal Society in the field of thermal or optical properties of matter, O'Connor and Robertson 1997. In 1850 Jean-Baptiste Bio published in the journal Des Savants a seven-page memoir from his recollections of the period of the late 1790s and early 1800s concerning his encounters with Laplace. Jean-Baptiste Bio had a single son, Édouard Constant Bio, an engineer and sinologist, born in 1803. Edouard died in 1850 and it was only thanks to the extraordinary efforts of his father that the second half of Edouard's last book, the Chinese classic Tcheou Li, was readied for publication. It had been left in manuscript, unfinished. To publish it in correct form, Jean-Baptiste Bio wrote, he had to consult Stanislas Julian, the famous sinologist, but also, especially for the translation of the most difficult part, the Kaogongji, he himself had to visit many workshops and questioned artisans and craftsmen about their methods and vocabulary in order to verify his son's work. To this day, Bayat's translation remains the only translation into a Western language of this book. He died in Paris on 3 February 1862. Work <laughs> 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 Jean-Baptiste Bio made many contributions to the scientific community in his lifetime, most notably in optics, magnetism, and astronomy. The bio savart law in magnetism is named after Bio and his colleague Félix Savart for their work in 1820. 
In their experiment they showed a connection between electricity and magnetism by starting with a long vertical wire and a magnetic needle some horizontal distance apart and showing that running a current through the wire caused the needle to move parsley in 1803 Bio was sent by the Académie Française to report back on 3,000 meteorites that fell on Lagal, France see Lagal meteorite. He found that the meteorites, called «stones» at the time, were from outer space. With his report, Bio helped support Ernst Florenz Friedrich Kladny's argument that meteorites were debris from space, which he had published in 1794. Meteorites Prior to Byatt's thorough investigation of the meteorites that fell near Lagal, France in 1803, very few truly believed that rocks found on Earth could have extraterrestrial origins. There were anecdotal tales of unusual rocks found on the ground after fireballs had been seen in the sky, but such stories were often dismissed as fantasy. Serious debate concerning the unusual rocks began in 1794 when German physicist Kladny published a book claiming that rocks had an extraterrestrial origin Westrum. Only after Bio was able to analyze the rocks at Lagal was it commonly accepted that the fireballs seen in the sky were meteors falling through the atmosphere. Since by its time, analysis of meteorites has resulted in accurate measurements of the chemical composition of the solar system. The composition and position of meteors in the solar system have also given astronomers clues as to how the solar system formed. <laughs> Polarized light. In 1812, Bio turned his attention to the study of optics, particularly the polarization of light. Prior to the 19th century, light was believed to consist of discrete packets called corpuscles. During the early 19th century, many scientists began to disregard the corpuscular theory in favor of the wave theory of light. Bio began his work on polarization to show that the results he was obtaining could appear only if light were made of corpuscles. In 1815 he demonstrated that, "...polarized light, when passing through an organic substance, could be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise, dependent upon the optical axis of the material." His work in chromatic polarization and rotary polarization greatly advanced the field of optics, although it was later shown that his findings could also be obtained using the wave theory of light Frankel 2009. By its work on the polarization of light has led to many breakthroughs in the field of optics. Liquid crystal displays LCDs, such as television and computer screens, use light that is polarized by a filter as it enters the liquid crystal, to allow the liquid crystal to modulate the intensity of the transmitted light. This happens as the liquid crystal's polarization varies in response to an electric control signal applied across it. Polarizing filters are used extensively in photography to cut out unwanted reflections or to enhance reflection. Topic: <coughs> Cream of tartar. Potassium tartrate was first discovered inside of a wine container in Iran. 
The modern application of the substance began in 1768, and in 1832, Jean Baptiste Biot discovered the physical properties of cream of tartar. The item gained most of its popularity when the French began using it frequently in their cooking. Topic: Selected writings. Trait élémentaire d'astronomie physique, Klosterman, 1810 to 1811. Trait de physique expérimentale et mathématique, de Turville, 1816. Précis de l'histoire de l'astronomie chinoise, IMPR. Imperial, 1861. Etudes sur l'astronomie indie and et sur l'astronomie chinoise, Levy Frere, 1862. Mélanges scientifiques et littéraires, Levy Frere, 1858. Recherches sur plusieurs points de l'astronomie égyptienne, Dido, 1823. Topic. See also. Bio number History of the meter Seconds pendulum Notes <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>